Hey everybody, welcome to The Big Llama Show. I'm The Big Llama. I'm glad you're here. I got a retro goodie for you guys. It's not a retro review. Uh, it's a movie, it's a documentary movie about the last blockbuster in uh, Bend, Oregon. Um, cool, cool stuff. Let's talk about it. Hey, yo, Cinna, hit me with my theme music. Yeah, it's Cinna. Uh, she ruckus. Dead beat. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, you ain't a killer boy, stop. I hear you yelling stacks on deck. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you join the Lama Nation. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Uh, really, really excited about things happening on the channel. We're getting a lot more viewers. Uh, we're doing a lot more reviews as best we can. So uh, let's get on to the review of the movie, The Last Blockbuster. The Last Blockbuster is a documentary. It's currently available on Netflix uh, in Ultra HD, by the way, which is which is kind of funny. Um, but um, The Last Blockbuster chronicles the last remaining blockbuster in Bend, Oregon. Um, people are taking flights and pilgrimages to this place. It is the last one left, and it's the last bit of 90s nostalgia that you can actually go into and feel. Um, there was something about a Friday night um, back in the 90s uh, early 2000s um, something about a Friday night where you can just go um, either with your parents uh, for me it was with my parents and just sort of wander around Blockbuster Video and look for the new releases there's the new release wall you would go out there they got like a hundred copies there'd never be one available because people already rented it up and then you would sort of pick out two or three movies um, and there was just something about the video rental process that was so amazing. Um, you could even, in, in, the, in the movie it describes, it talking about how the smell of Blockbuster and the smell of, of nostalgia. And that's, that's one of those smells I'd like to sort of check out. Um, the documentary is pretty quirky. It does a pretty good job of chronicling um, sort of the rise and fall of uh, home video and the video sales, which I found um, uh, amazing, amazing that the, the studios thought that we would pay hundreds of dollars for VHS tapes. And I'm sure some people did, but uh, I wasn't one of those people. The documentary follows Sandy Harding. She's the uh, general manager or the, the store manager of the last blockbuster. Um, and she runs it um, and it's sort of a family affair. She employs her kids and then her the friends. And it's really a, a touching story about how um, she has kept it going. I found it funny that there were times when she had to go buy movies at like the local Target or Walmart to stock the shelves. But apparently they make do enough business that they're still in business all these years later. Uh, and and the, the movie does center around her and it's a documentary about her and then that store. Um, but again, just, just a, a nice bit of nostalgia. There is guest appearances. The main the main uh, celebrity that shows up in here is Kevin Smith, and he waxed poetic about how he loved the local video store and that he used to work in one. And there's just a lot of telling stories. There's a, there's a couple other celebrities that either worked at Blockbuster or got their start in commercials and um, franchises. Uh, for the commercials for the franchises. Uh, one of them was Jim Gaffigan, but he's not featured in there, but I think he's the biggest comedian there. Uh, Jamie Ken Kennedy was another one. Um, so it was pretty interesting to, to sort of see their take on it. Okay. This is directed by Taylor Morton. I don't know anything about this particular director, um, but what I didn't like about the documentary is that there is too many uh, times when the person asking the questions is actually audibly heard uh, in the video. And I think that to me for a documentary, depending on how it's supposed to be framed, uh, um, it's a little annoying. Um, if it's a one-on-one -on -one interview or if it's an interview of a celebrity uh, or, or, or someone for the documentary, I can see where there's an exchange. But typically, most documentaries, the person asking the questions isn't featured or, or audible. And sometimes there's a candid moment where they might say something and it's like, you know, impactful. But in this one, I think they just wanted to be part of the movie, which, which I didn't like too much. Overall, the movie did give me the feels. I felt everything when they walked into the Blockbuster, when people were making their pilgrimages to the Blockbuster and they were going in and taking selfies there. I wanted to go. I don't think I'll ever be in Oregon, so I don't know that I'll ever go to this place, but if I get the opportunity, I just might have to check it out. Um, the movie overall, grading-wise, uh, it's a C plus. 
Um, while the nostalgia factor did give me, um, you know, give it a little bit of higher rating, I just again didn't like some of the formatting of the documentary. Uh, it's a good documentary. You're going to learn a lot, or you're going to at least go through a nostalgia rush like I did. Um, but overall, the, some of those quirks I just couldn't get past. So C plus for me. The one thing I found very ironic is that Netflix is responsible or partly responsible for the downfall of Blockbuster and Netflix is producing or is airing uh, this documentary. So I find that pretty funny. Um, it's with a bit of irony, of course, but again, that's how, that's how things are, it's a cycle. Um, anyway, that's my review of the last Blockbuster. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe. Uh, make sure you, you hit me in the comments. Did you like the documentary? Have you seen it? Are you planning on seeing it? What are your thoughts on it? I'd like to sort of interact with you and, and sort of give you my thoughts as well. Uh, once again, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. Remember, become a member of the Lamination. It's free to do, just subscribe, and you'll be notified whenever I post a video. All right. Thank you so much. I'm the Big Llama. This is the Big Llama Show. Peace out. Yeah, I tell her, baby, you're the one for me. Never too, unless you're telling me you feel it too.